so welcome to today's lecture on fluid mechanics today we are going to study about manometers this is also a topic that comes under the chapter fluids under rest or rigid body motion so manometers as you know it is a device that is used to measure the pressure difference between two points what i mean is that suppose you have got a system a okay and you want to find the pressure difference between system A and B. This is B. This B is also having some pressure and this A is also having some pressure. Or you can assume that this A is nothing but a pipe. This is the cross section. It, this A and B is pipes and you need to find the pressure difference between these two points. That's why you choose manometers. Now, inside a manometer, if there is a manometric fluid. Suppose the pressure of A is more. Then what will happen? The manometric fluid will rise like this. This is the manometric fluid. If the pressure of A is more, then manometric fluid will rise like this. Because the fluid that is in A, it will push the man manometric fluid with much more pressure and that's why it will rise towards this B okay and this difference between these two levels of the manometric fluid suppose X it is known as the deflection of manometer it is known as the deflection of manometer Is it clear or not? Now, not only you can find the pressure difference between the two systems or two pipes, you can also find the pressure difference between a system and atmosphere also. Suppose like this. Suppose like this. This end of the manometer, it is open to the atmosphere. Now, in this case, of course, by seeing the deflection of this manometric fluid I can understand that pressure of A is more than the pressure of atmosphere than the atmospheric pressure that's why it has risen like this way now why we need manometers why piezometers are not good enough for this purpose see I am explaining this see suppose there is a system A you want to measure the pressure of this system uh, with the help of a piezometer so what will you do you will attach a piezometer like this way okay you will attach a piezometer like this way now the due to the pressure in the system the fluid will rise up okay now suppose the pressure in this system pressure P is very high is very high enough then what will happen is that this liquid will rise to a much higher level. For this you require a long piezometer tube. So in that case it is not efficient enough. Because it is difficult to construct such a large piezometer tube. And even if you construct it how will you take the reading? How will you take the reading? Okay. That's why piezometer is not enough when the pressure is very high or you can also imagine that that if the pressure is very small suppose I'm erasing this picture and making a new picture suppose this is there is a system like this you need to measure the pressure of this system and for this you attach a piezometer like this okay there are the readings in the piezometer now suppose this pressure in the system is very less then what will happen the liquid or the fluid whatever you call it it will rise to a very less extent okay it will rise to a very less level okay this level of rise will be very less now it will be very difficult for you to take the reading accurately okay so these are the places where we cannot use piezometers then manometers are very helpful okay now let's uh, now i will solve two problems regarding manometers and it is very helpful to understand the concept 
now now i will start with the problems of continuous manometers or you can say it as multi-tube manometers okay Th this will help to understand your concept in much better way there is a problem see this is a pipe which is carrying water okay there are two points a and b the pressure in these two points are of course not same that's why the fluid is moving in this direction okay suppose now no, we know that the pressure is not same and you need to find what is pa minus pb pressure difference between these two points see there is a very simple technique to find this pressure difference and i will solve another problem where also you will find this technique very helpful see when you are moving up you take it as negative sign okay and when you are coming down you take it as positive sign okay what i'm what i try to say is that suppose let us start from here so what is we will move gradually along the length of this youtube manometer see first what is the pressure here it is pa it is pa okay next i will move in this direction that is i'm moving up in upward direction so i'm taking it as negative minus what is the pressure due to this liquid column from here to here why i'm taking up to this point and not up to this point i'm telling you it is very simple first tell me the value what is the pressure from here to here pressure due to this liquid column which is carrying water see water will move like this from here to there okay so what is that it is density of water into g into the height height is given as z this height so rho g multiplied by z okay so now see why i have not taken the pressure here because the pressure at this point and this point is same i don't have to calculate the pressure all over here okay the pressure at here and here is same because these two points are lying on the same horizontal plane and also these two points are lying at the expanse of same fluid see in between these two points only one liquid is flowing same liquid is flowing that is water but you cannot equate the pressure between here and here suppose you cannot equate the pressure at these two points this point and this point it is also lying at the same level okay it is also lying at the same level but it is not at the expense of same fluid from here to here there is water but from here to here it is mercury also so i cannot equate the pressure between these two points okay i can equate the pressure between these two points okay let's um, see so i can directly j uh, jump from here to there okay is it clear or not now see now i've came over here now i don't have to consider the pressure all over here i will directly jump from here to here why because these two points are lying on the same plane same level and also at the expanse of same fluid that is in between these two points only there is mercury okay now i am here so now i will move again gradually upwards so what is the height of this liquid column it is 0.6 see i am moving in upward direction so again negative it is rho mercury g into 0.6 is it clear or not see for over here i am here and what is i need to find i am moving here in this direction i need to find the pressure here due to the this liquid column which is mar filled with mercury so it is nothing but rho gh density of mercury into g into 0.6 okay now i am here okay see i can directly jump from here to here i don't have to calculate the pressure over here because these two points are lying on the same plane and and they are at the expanse of same fluid what is the fluid again water see 
here also water here also water so in between these two points same fluid is flowing water okay so now I am here at this point. Now I will come gradually downwards. See, I am coming downwards. So downwards means positive sign. So I am here. So I will come from here to here first. So what is this? So what is this value? It is positive because I am coming downwards from here to here. It is density of water G into what is the height? 0 0.6 plus Z. 0 0.6 plus z okay i have come from here to here which is equals to pb this is the technique okay so you move from here you gradually move along the entire length of this youtube manometer and you finish here that is equals to pb okay i will solve another problem there your concept will be clear much more okay And if you are feeling confused with this height Z, that is what about the liquid column, what about the pressure due to the liquid here and here. You can take this height Z along this entire length up to this much. Okay, then you will not have any problem. So from here to here, what is the height 0 0.6 plus Z. I have taken Z up to this center line. Okay, same, nothing will change. And also when you have started it is pressure at A, pressure at this point plus the height of the water column from here to this much, from here to this much. So this from here to here the height is Z. Okay. Now if you calculate you will find the answer very easily. See I am doing it for you. See what is pressure at A I need to find out PA minus what is rho w g z density of water is 1000 into 9.81 into z okay this is what minus density of mercury 1000 into 13.6 uh, 1000 into 9.81 into 0 0.6 okay plus I am expanding this one. It is what? Rho W G into 0 0.6 plus Rho W G into 0 0.Z. So it is nothing but 1000 into 9.81 multiplied by 0 0.6 plus 1000 into 9.81 multiplied by Z. Okay. Which is equals to PB. Is it clear or not? Now this term and this term getting cancelled out. So what you are getting is very simple. It is PA minus PB. PA minus PB. You will get the answer if you solve it very carefully. You will get the answer something around 74 kilopascals. You will get the answer something around 74 kilopascals. You solve it. Okay. If you don't get this answer please comment in the comment box but i but i am sure that if you solve this equation you will get the answer okay now i will solve the next problem where your concepts will get much more clear now we are going to solve the second problem this is a problem of continuous manometer or you can say it is a multi-tube manometer okay in this problem you need to find the gauge pressure in the vessel this is the vessel it is containing air and you need to find the gauge pressure what is gauge pressure gauge pressure is nothing but the absolute pressure in this vessel minus the atmospheric pressure okay atmospheric pressure because it is open to the atmosphere of uh, this end you can get the atmospheric pressure easily okay let's see that how to find this one how to find this problem so p I am writing here P gauge is nothing but P absolute pressure. Absolute pressure of the vessel minus the P atmospheric pressure. Okay. Yes or no? It is very simple. Now, just like the previous problem, we will start from here and we will move gradually along the length of this multi-tube manometer. Okay. 
see all the heights are given here and the manometric fluid is also given water and mercury okay now we will proceed accordingly so only one thing i told you to keep in mind this one as you are moving in upward direction it will be negative sign and if you come downwards it give it a positive sign you will get your answer accordingly see it is very simple first here first here what is the pressure it is p a pressure of a this is the absolute pressure of the system remember this now i will move like this okay i will move like this so i'm coming downwards i'm coming downwards so what is my downward sign plus plus of rho of air g into height is h1 now i'm here okay now i can move or i can jump from here to here because the pressure in these two points are same so i don't have to calculate the pressure all around here i can directly jump from here to here please understand my words okay why i can jump because the pressure here are same why it is same because it is lying in the same level and also in the expense of same fluid okay in the expense of same fluid from here to here same fluid on that is mercury is lying okay now i am here so i will move upwards so when i will move upwards it will be a negative sign density of mercury g into h2 so i have calculated the, the i have calculated the pressure for this height okay now i am here now see i don't need to go any further up in this youtube manometer because i can jump from here to here very easily why because the pressure here and here is same because they are lying at the same level and also in between these two points there is only one fluid that is water okay they are lying at the expanse of the same fluid okay so i can jump from here to here i don't have to consider the pressure here because i know that the whatever the pressure here it will be same as here okay so now directly i have come to this point now i will move downwards okay downwards means positive sign so from here to here for this column what is the pressure it is density of water g into what is the height it is h2 minus h3 it is h2 minus of h3 it is clear or not h2 minus of h3 now see i don't have to calculate for this one because i can directly jump from here to here i can directly jump from here to here okay why because these two points are lying in the same level and they are lying in at the expanse of same fluid okay now see what will happen if you come down here then also the answer will you will get is same suppose you calculated the pressure here for this liquid column now you will do for this one now you will jump from here to here okay so instead of coming down from to here and then going here i am directly jumping from here to here because i have the provision to do so i am not doing anything wrong i it is i it is needless that um, for me to calculate this pressure pressure for this mercury column because i can directly move to here okay so i am now here now i will move upwards i am moving upwards that means it is negative sign so what is the fluid from here to here it is mercury g and what is the height it is h4 minus of h3 this height i require i need to find this height so this is h4 minus h3 so this is h4 minus of h3 clear or not now i am here so i don't have to go any further i can directly jump from here to here i can directly jump from here to here because these two points are lying at the same level and the expanse of same fluid that is water now i am here so i will come downwards 
so downwards means positive sign what is the fluid it is water rho w g and what is the height from here i need to go here here try to understand the height is h4 plus h5 this height from here to here it is h4 no problem i am writing again this height is h4 this i can understand this height is h4 but water is also something below this datum with below this dotted brown line that is h5 so h4 plus h5 okay now i can move or i can jump from here to here okay if you cannot see this portion don't worry i am magnifying it for you okay i am magnifying here okay at this below just see it is something like this okay this is the dotted line that is passing this is the brown dotted line that is passing this is the brown dotted line that is passing and this is where the mercury is started okay so this height this height it is h6 i am just showing this portion here okay and this height it is h5 okay is it clear or not and this entire thing it is filled with water okay so you have to add this one then this is suppose h4 this is suppose h4 this one h4 this one h4 plus you have to add this portion also this small portion okay which is this small portion i have just magnified it to make it visible for you okay now see i uh, so after calculating this one rho w g h4 plus h4 5 h4 plus h5 i am here i am somewhat at this point okay now i am jumping from here to here okay so then i will move upward so negative sign will come so negative sign will come negative density of mercury g into what is the height you have to again consider the small height because this is also filled with mercury it is again h5 plus h6 after this there is nothing but atmosphere so this entire thing will be equals to p of atm is it clear or not there is any doubt if you have any doubt please ask in the comment box but i have tried to explain as much as i can okay now see this rho g h1 this is negligible this is equals to zero we are considering this is negligible if you cons considering these values this rho a g h1 is negligible because see try to understand why we have considered rho a g h1 because of the air filled in this column but see the specific weight of air is very very less that's why we can uh, we can neglect it okay so this so this is the thing you are getting now if you put the values and if you find the value of p a minus p atmosphere p a minus p atmosphere value if you find you will definitely get the answer somewhat near about 190.19 kilopascal i am getting whatever the answer you will get remember it will be very very near to 190 kilopascal when i calculated i got it 190.19 kilopascal you also calculate and just put the answer in the comment box with what you are getting okay this calculation is not so important the most important thing is understanding and from there how to apply the equation of hydrostatics and get this equation that is very important okay i hope that your concept is clear okay
uh, if you are still having some problem, don't worry, I am solving another problem for you. Just now I will solve it. Now see here, this is the third problem for you. This is also a very simple problem. See, there is a um, vessel or pipe that is containing air and its gauge, it is showing the gauge pressure 370 kilopascals and there it contains a gas. It contains a gas. Okay, you need to find the pressure of this gas. Okay, specific gravity is given and this multitude manometer consists of manometric fluids like water, mercury and an oil. Okay. So let's start. So what convention we will follow? We will follow a very simple convention. If we move up, it is negative. If we come down, it will be positive. And we will start from the first point. Okay. So first point, it is the pressure of air. Okay. Whatever the gauge pressure is given, I am writing down the values later on. First write the equation. Now see, it is the pressure due to this column of air okay due to this gap that is filled with air but it is negligible but it is negligible why because the specific weight of air is very very small okay that's why we are neglecting this one so i'm directly coming to this portion okay now see i will jump from here to here i can jump from here i have got that provision because the pressure at this point and this point is same yes or no and also these two points are filled with the in between these two points it is the same fluid that is water only water no other fluid is present okay that is that means what these two points are at the expanse of same fluid that's why i can say that the pressure here are same and also these points are lying on the same level now i will move up i will move up that means negative sign will come that means negative sign will come okay now what is the fluid from here to here it is water so density of water g into what is the height it is 45 centimeters that means 0 0.45 meters is it clear or not now see i don't have to find the pressure all over here because i can jump from this point to this point when I find out this I am here okay I can jump from here to here because these two points are lying at the same level at the same expanse of a fluid that is only oil is present in between this so I am here okay now I will come down I will come down that means it will be positive plus what is this fluid it is oil what is the density of oil Okay, let me first write down this as rho of oil into G into what is this height? It is 0 0.5 in meters. Is it clear or not? So now I am here. Now I don't have to consider the pressure all over here. I can directly come to here. Wait, let me take this black pen. I can directly come to here. Okay. Because the pressure here and here is same because they are lying at the same level and also it is lying at the same expanse of fluid that is mercury. Only mercury is present in between this. So I can directly come here. Now I will move upwards. I will move upwards that means it will be a negative sign. Yes or no? Upwards. Now what will be the value? What is the fluid that is lying from here to here? It is mercury that means rho of mercury into g into 0 0.1 from here to here which is the fluid that is minus of again i am moving in upward direction the fluid is this gas that is rho of gas multiplied by g multiplied by this height this height is what 0 0.22 in meters which is equals to the pressure of the gas is it clear or not which is equals to the pressure of the gas i told you in the previous examples also how to write this equation and similar procedure i have followed here what is pressure of air it is 
given 370 kilo pascals 370 kilo pascals so 10 to the power 3 pascals minus of what is density of water 1000 into 9.81 into 0 0.45 keep it in bracket plus what is the density of oil see the specific gravity of the oil is given 0 0.79 so what is density it is 0 0.79 into 1000 into 9.81 into 0 0.5 okay now minus of minus of this value what is density of mercury 13.6 into 1000 into 9.81 into uh, 0 0.1 okay minus of what is the density of this gas density of this gas is specific gravity of the gas is given 0 0.7 multiplied by 1000 is the density okay into 9.81 into 0 0.22 which is equals to the pressure of the gas okay wait now you can see which is equals to the pressure of the gas now you find out the pressure of the gas and you tell me the answer okay in the comment box this is this i want to know from you okay then i will tell that whether your answer is correct or not okay this is also a very simple problem but these problems are becoming simple because you know this procedure you know this procedure this is a technique to solve this multitude manometer problems thank you very much if you have any doubt please comment in the comment box